you know, black folks. And so our most positive information that there is something I've been blocking some of the sunlight from uh, because no matter what, there's something up at the sun. We know that the sun is in the supergiants and we know there's objects, remnants, and everything around. And you know and you've seen the temperatures. You can go back and watch my videos and I'm sure you remember me showing you temperature was sometimes we've had low and then we've been a little high. Check it out where we're at now on temperature of the sun. So let's roll down through the data and basically haven't been in looking at the sun because we've had so much earthquake activity going on. And yes, the sun is magnetical, so because it's got electrical energy, okay. So now we're going down through the data -da and see if we got any new C CME that came off. And we got somewhat, I mean, there is, this is all CME action. I mean, it's sunlight from the sun. And then you have that CME there that came off. So what satellite we got over there is the yellow squared one. Because we know that that and that and that and that. So I don't remember what the yellow squared satellite is. So right there, Earth is right here. Mercury, and then there is, uh, I, thought, I can't remember what the heck is it, Spitzer, I think is is usually, okay, Spitzer is there, so that's Spitzer. Okay. So we'll go down to the data. So, let's see what we've got. And what we got on coronal action over here on the right? I wasn't looking over here. You look over here on the right. So, that's Earth going through, if anybody's new here, that's Earth going through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. 6,000 miles an hour faster than our normal or average. And who knows how much faster we're going. And check out the backdraft we've got, which is, uh, there's a scientist, a mathematician, that's like coilist or something like a coil or something like that was, is, uh, so anyway, uh, Coeli or something like that comes to mind when I'm looking at that. So, because our coronal is named after that mathematician, I believe. And anyway, I haven't looked at the magnetic live magnetosphere for a while so I'm sure that was probably going crazy the last few days with all these earthquakes so and we did have a Dominican Republic today so the truth bleeds through on basically you can always kind of tell when we're gonna get something and then we go down and see what kind of remnants or what we got going on on the Sun a little less marble action but over on the right you can't miss it whether it's electrical static or not and you can't miss it there so, and everybody's been telling me to look at the sun because they were saying, what do you think about Osco 3 and everything? So we'll take a look. And so here you got the roller marks and they're over to the right. And that also, their action there. So, and there was a good explosion here on this one. I'm going to go pull his video up on that real fast, show you that. We're on the 2200 hour on. Okay, so I'll see what I can pull up because basically uh, i got to respect him. He's got creative comments on his video that he sent me. So, uh... I don't have time for emails on the internet. So anyway, so interesting spike there. And we're not... Looks like we're starting to want a cross phase again, possibly right here. So, oh yeah, right here we are. So, uh, and then there's, you know, the sun's been active because we've got some telemetry that's not coming through still. Let's see what kind of classes we've got for flares. Ooh, that's some wild looking stuff. Ever seen that stuff before? So that might have been part of our earthquake our earthquake magneticism there. Uh, but that's late on the... Uh, but then remember that we had that large with two other objects, and there actually probably was more than that with those objects that came by. So we are in... Uh, where is our... So as you see, the B, we're not in the higher C, M, and X, or farther out class. So, uh, still getting that heartbeat, and then we're getting some spikes. 
out of what looks to be lower on the x-ray flux and let's go down and see what we get on an ascension on the neutron monitor as you can see you should be able to see that okay and there you go so let's go see what we got at Sechi and so forth and so on and there's your auroral ass end shaking out and top end so we've been twisting pretty good as we bullet through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour so we'll go see what we got going on it's so a very interesting uh, shot from uh, one of the beacon shots it's a lot of light action should be CME more than likely and there's your date and time right there the 12th today and here's our map for the day if you know that's the satellite a ahead there and B behind and they shooting at an angle because they don't really get completely behind the sun but they pretty much are and there's earth there and we'll see what we should be seeing from those angles of those shots and that's fresh today so there's mercury and there's a shot more than likely that would be Venus you think so, and then we'll get some real good shots when we go look at Sechi. So that's what I was looking at. The must be off with the sun and the supergiants. Pretty interesting. So going through these, and also we want to take a look at this object we got up here on this shot. So we'll take a look at that. You see that there? We'll take and pop it. Look at that. See what else we got looking at in the sun there. And there's its travel through. That is the sun suns traveling up there so let's take a look at this and yep as something moves away we get hotter or that might be one of the one of the objects that's coming in so you know that there's something there and also, yep, and there, and there, and there. Okay, so let's go. This was the latest shot that they had, so there you go. And then we get something huge, okay, because this is the sun. That's huge, whatever that is right there. And yeah, we've seen even more astounding stuff than this before out there. So, this is the other shot an hour earlier or something. So, you can see that there. And there we go. We got Venus. And we got the meatball. And we got a huge CME. And the super giants. Because that's all coming from over here on the right. Can't miss it. It's the El Fuego over there on the right hand side. So yeah, when you've been seeing the sun, like I've been telling you, wear welding shades. Okay, you got to be dark welding, not cutting glasses. That's not dark enough. I'm talking welding. Okay, if you're gonna look at the sun, and then more than likely we have a coronal mass atmospheric. Uh, we you know Earth. We have all kinds of spheres, ionosphere. And everything like that off of these planets because we know that it's not an inner camera flare that another planet is doing over here and this is the sun and the supergiants over here to the right and that's the meatball and there's venus and this is awesome and let's go look at the freshest shot i'll go jump to the freshest shot and just so you know i'm taking it right out of here right out of the data right out of the shot so here let's go to this one and yep folks first thing that comes to mind is who's turning the lights on and off now I'll show you that and you should be able to tell the times here differential because it's many hours during the tenth and there's the meatball still there and we have less of a CME coming off of the sun so that was a massive CME earlier and what is unique is check out the Venus luminosity on the back side and this darkness there so there is something dark over here by the sun and the supergiants 
okay and then also the unique that this flare is still going there on whatever this planet is doing or possible small star or sun and all stars are suns okay so and then we know that's venus and that's fresh there that's about the freshest shot we got from sechi okay so the first shot was at like 9 a.m on the 10th this one's at around noon actually it's one o'clock it's 129 on it so that'd be 1300 hours mm, yeah on the 10th so 129 is that a.m anyways this is that's that shot let me go back to sechi so that's that shot then at that time and you can't miss the meatball and we also get this very interesting still here that some planet is doing something there and the most obvious it could be is possibly Mercury, maybe. And it was the nine minute mark. I apologize, that first one, nine minute mark there. So we'll go ahead and go up to, that was the first hour and 29 minute shot. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to, we'll jump like four hours out, we'll go to 4 a.m. Let me get this shot from H12A ahead basically shows you Earth, Mars, and Mercury, and Saturn. Okay, and we believe this is Palladius up here. Not positive on that, but we pretty much believe that's Palladius. And then check out the arrangement and the grouping going on up there on that now. And remember that there was a planet on, you back up my video that you're just watching, and remember you're seeing Venus and Mercury, and what's that other planet? So. So no matter what grouping or whatever, very interesting up there. So, there's we got that shot there, and we, that's what we had up there. So, the later part of that CME on the 10th at 6 almost 10 minutes to 7 a.m. And like I say, lots of planets that you're seeing there, along with Venus. Okay, so as the CME gives some luminosity out there, and we see a lot of other stuff. You know, that's Venus, and we, then we know that Mercury's supposed to be out here somewhere, and then maybe we figure that Mercury's doing this here, or whatever. But we also have Bing, 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 and Bing. And they're all in front of the meatball, and so should Earth be also. Uh, ready because we know this is coming off of the head and then go back and look at the map so earth is supposed to be somewhere out here and basically it's supposed to be earth is supposed to be between venus and mercury even putin and the russians don't want uh, korea to have a satellite up there in the eye, in the air they don't want them in the satellite business so i don't think any of us do so anyway, anyway, so don't look up too much. You might end up seeing something else in the sky. Let's. I want to go check out Hawaii and see if we got any. I haven't looked at Hawaii sky cam for a while. So there's an interesting blow up shot of what we're seeing there from that planet there doing some kind of a CME reactive flare of its atmosphere or something like that and kind of don't think that's Mercury because it looks pretty darn small to be Mercury okay I think that uh, they mark Mercury too if it was in here so interesting small planet but not that damn small or I mean star you see what I'm saying so I blew that one up a little bit but there's the meatball and there's Venus and there's Sun and the supergiants to the right not as that's later on in the flare dying out and there's your time down there 1600 hours <coughs> So no matter what, nine minutes into the tenth, very, very impressive. The sun and the super giants of Fuego, El Fuego, El Flamo, and lots of other planets. So, what's interesting on this shot, you might actually even think that maybe this meatball is below and behind us on our back door because you can see Venus here above, and is this possibly Mercury here or here? Or is this Earth up here and Mercury here, and this is all below us and behind us, the meatball. So, very interesting.